Let's talk about the security situation in the country, where 17 people have been killed in a fresh banditry attack in three local government areas in Niger State. The state government held an emergency security meeting on Sunday afternoon to discuss the strategies to arrest the situation. Jeremy Beme has more of the story. On Friday night and the early hours of Saturday, men suspected to be bandits attacked several villages in Lavu, Wishishi and Mashegu local government areas of Niger State. Security reports say the bandits rustled a large number of cattle and were trying to move the herd through these villages but met opposition from local vigilante groups and security operatives. This forced them to reroute and continue the killing. This led the state governor Abubakar Sanibello to call for an emergency security meeting with the heads of security agencies in the state. Briefing journalists after the meeting, Commissioner for Local Government, Chief Tensi Affairs and Internal Security disclosed that the government is carrying out a large security operation to stop the bandits. As at two days ago, we received credible information that bandits were sighted approaching Mariga local government. And we mobilized our security men. They went through Mariga to Mashegu local government where they had a contact in Soorami. And in Soorami, our assets there, we stood them. They had casualties where over eight bandits were reportedly killed. We had some casualties also in Soorami. Some are still receiving treatment in hospitals. Some were killed. These situations remain fluid in the sense that these bandits are highly mobile and uh, because they are on motorcycles, when you get called, for example, when we heard that they were in Gede, before we could respond to Igede, they've moved over to the Daban area. He also assured that the bandits have been enclosed and the Air Force is carrying out surveillance to pursue and track their movements. Mobility has been a major problem in the fight against banditry. These bandits are able to move from one community to another in quick successions because they operate on motorbikes. The government says some of these communities are not accessible by roads, although they are trying to amplify their air raids and also provide motorbikes for local vigilante groups to be able to neutralize some of these bandits. Right now, they are trapped around some communities around the River Kaduna area, and the government says if all their efforts are well executed, they will be able to trap them and neutralize them. Chenemi Bamiyi, TVC News, Mina.